Hello, welcome to the Dave Verdan Show. I'm Greg Royce, joined by head coach of the Stevenson Cross Country Teams, Dave Verdan. And coach, you guys uh, hosted your second straight meet to open the season. You hosted the Shannon, Shannon Henready Invitational on Friday. Uh, gorgeous weather. Uh, just talk a little bit about how the meet went for both teams. Yeah, I was really satisfied with the way it went on both the men's and the women's side. Um, they finished second place on both sides, um, losing to Messiah, but uh, I don't put too much emphasize, right. emphasis on the placing right now just because it's so early in the season. But they ran really well. They followed the race plan, and we're right where we need to be right now. Yeah, uh, individually on the women's side, Kelly Winklebauer goes out, wins the event for the second straight year, runs almost two minutes faster than her time from a year ago, um, and in turn is rewarded with the uh, Middle Atlantic Conference uh, Runner of the Week. So talk a little bit about her effort uh, this past weekend. Yeah, so Kelly, Kelly ran extremely well. Um, I mean, she followed the race plan really well. Uh, we talked about going out a little conservative and, and really picking it up over that last two kilometers of the race, and she did a really good job of doing that. She, I mean, she ran with the with Messiah's top woman for the first 4K and then mm -hmm. really opened up a big lead over that last two kilometers. Yeah, and talk about some of the other, especially some of your freshmen on the women's side and how they've been progressing over the first uh, couple of weeks of the season. Yeah, so I've actually been really pleasantly surprised with some of the women um, freshmen. So, I mean, Allie Cray is one that's been making some pretty big jumps. Emily Gates it being our third runner as a freshman. And then um, Chloe O'Hara has been really stepping up as well. Okay. Let's shift over to the men's side. Um, again, second place finish, um, Langston Gash finished third behind a pair of uh, Messiah runners. Looked like those guys got out to a big lead, and Langston just wasn't able to track them down. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I mean, I, I held them back early on, yeah. and those Messiah guys got out really fast. And Langston was gaining on them over the second half yeah. of the race, but it was just there was a little bit too much of a gap. So, um, But, again, he ran to the, to the plan, and, mm -hmm. and I was happy with the way it went. Yeah, and just talk about, again, we talked about it a little bit last week, but a little bit about the event. Obviously, a great crowd there on Friday. Um, just a great event overall, perfect weather for it. Just talk about the event and how, what it means to your program. Yeah, so um, Shannon Henretti was one of our alumni and also a volunteer assistant coach when I first started working here at Stevenson. And she um, unfortunately passed away due to complications with pneumonia in December of 14. So the nursing, nursing department actually created a scholarship yep. in her name. So we've been trying to raise money to get the scholarship endowed, and they're, they're actually really close now. And what we do with our invitational is we donate the entry fees to her scholarship fund. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. It sounds like I know you're getting close as the last, you know, going into last week. I'm sure you're probably very close, if not there, once you add the entry fees and, you know, other fundraising that happened on this past couple of weeks. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Now, shifting gears, looking ahead to this week, um, you go on the road for the first time up to New York to um, – Van Cortland Park in the Bronx, for those who don't know, very, um, very well-known course in cross-country running circles. Um, me hosted by Iona, Iona College. Talk about the competition you'll face there and just what you're looking for out of that meet. Yeah, so I, it's going to be our first real test and the first time that I really let them race the whole entire race. Um, it's definitely a challenging course. Van Cortland Park's got quite a bit of hills in the back. And as far as competition, I mean, Iona's hosting it. They're a D1 team. Mm -hmm. There'll be a few other D1 teams. And then um, Johns Hopkins will be there again as well. Okay. So th there'll be another top D3 team there. It's, it's, it's going to be very competitive. Yeah. Sounds like, like you said, it'll be a great early test for you guys. You know, about, you know, really about only about six weeks out for the MAC championship. So it's time to start thinking about ramping things up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And that's why, like I said, this week is the first time they really get to, to race the whole distance and, and see where we really are. And the first time I'm actually backing off their training a little bit, too, to see, yeah. see how they can race when they're a little bit fresher. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Coach. Um, best of luck on this weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Um, for Coach Dave Verdan, I'm Greg Royce, and this has been the Dave Verdan Show.